the previous video we have showed you how you can deploy and get access on the Microsoft Azure cloud and how you can utilize the cloud services to have the Windows 11 environment but right now you have remembered that we have stopped the video the previous video of Windows 11 series where we have successfully deployed the VM and we are about to start the VM so let's go back where we have left the previous video and let's go to the Azure portal and here I'm starting from the home to give you the understanding that how you can locate your VM once you create the VM so when you log into the Azure portal you have to click to the virtual machine and here you're going to find your virtual machine that you just created now here's the VM that we have created in the previous video so let's click to start the VM because we have stopped the VM and that is recommended and that you should know that when you create the VM on Azure cloud on Azure portal you need to stop the VM when you are not using it so it will be deallocated and it will not add more cost to your subscription to your billing but if you keep and if you leave the machine running in running state, it will keep adding the cost and adding the CPU usage, you know, and the memory utilization, and it will keep adding the cost on your subscription. So we have stopped the VM, and now let's click to start the VM. And when you click to the start, it will show you the notification on the right top corner that it is starting the virtual machine and as soon as the virtual machine is started you will see the message you will see the alert on the right top corner that says that your machine has been started so we're going to wait until the machine starts now here it shows that this virtual machine has been started and it's time to connect to the virtual machine so let's click to the connect and here you can download the RDP file and it's going to download like that. Then you will click on the file to get access to the VM. And here, let's provide the credentials to access the VM. Now, here you can see the machine is ready to provide you the access. And we haven't changed anything, so it will be started on the same point where we have left the VM and here we will look into how to initialize the Windows 11 environment just right after the installation well right now here you have to choose the privacy setting for your device because Microsoft puts you in control of your privacy and that's the customer winning Thing that you give the whole privacy access security access to the customers will whatever the setting the user will want to have on the on its on you know their own operating system that must be managed and configured by the user so currently the location is on we can turn off and turn on the location both it's up to us then find my device windows won't be able to help you keep your tracker device if you lose it so if you go with the no so you will not locate your device in case of lost then the diagnostic data sends only info about your device so if you turn off your info will not be sent to the server where you can later on track your device and you know it helps you to you know secure your windows because you never know what sort of file comes with which malware or you know which software and, and virus that start attacking your windows background files and start making your windows slow and you will have the experience like you you started to feel that windows 11 is slow and i'm getting no good response from the windows from the operating system so this happens when the viruses and you know the malwares and some files that contain virus comes with while while you're downloading any file from untrusted sources and when these 
file that are attached with the viruses or malware get downloaded to your you know machines so what happens like it start attacking your system files like it just you know making the system very slow there you start feeling the lagging in the processes and that overall over, overall that definitely gives you the experience bad experience about the operating system so this can only be resolved and fixed when you enable this diagnostic data and this data goes to the Microsoft servers and they analyze that which point and which file has been corrupted or compromised so you know they provide the patches and updates to fix those issues so it would be good for you to enable the diagnostic data then inking and typing send optional inking and timing diagnostic data to Microsoft to improve the language recognition and suggestion capability of Microsoft apps and services it's up to you tailored experience and let's click to accept so this is how you can initialize the basic settings of your Windows 11 environment and first things first when when you deploy the machine you need to check out the system details the machine name so likewise in the Windows 10 let me close this likewise in the Windows 10 you right click on the start and go to the system this is common on both of the operating system and here you will start getting the detail like the device name the processor RAM which is like 7.95 so it, it's 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 like 8 gigs device ID product ID system type pen and touch so this input are, is not available and here's the addition detail so we have selected the Windows 11 Pro for this machine and right now we have this then the version is 22H2 installed on this day the OS build is this so this is how you can get the basic details of your Windows 11 machine now if you wanted to change the PC name you can click to rename the PC and here you can do what you can use a combination of letter hyphens and numbers to change the PC name so the current PC name is JSS Windows E E for 11 and you can change it to anything that you want then if you want to join a domain or want to change the current word group so you can change from here as well and you can click to the domain but this is now become legacy steps and legacy skills that you should know about how to change the domain because nowadays you have to enroll your device and your machine for the Microsoft Entra ID and your machines you know can be managed in a more efficient way in a more you know granular way from the Microsoft Intune product and we have a separate course a whole course regarding the Microsoft Intune how you can manage Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines from the Microsoft Intune and it 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 adds restriction and it creates you know a framework and it provides a restricted environment it it provides the compliance the policies you know how you know you can manage your multiple user with the with the policies conditional access and you can create groups you can assign usernames you can assign licenses you can even manage their access to other apps of the office 365 so there's a whole lot of stuff regarding Microsoft Intune which you can find on the GSS jobskillshare.org video library and you can get the membership and you will have you know the whole course library where you can explore and watch these videos and there are projects and tasks and quizzes that will really help you to understand and that will give you the foundation to grasp the whole concept and when you start doing the practical for the quizzes for 
you know, the exercises. So that will clear your confusions and it gives you a deep understanding of the product. And that's what our intention, you know, behind these videos, behind these video series that give you a deep understanding of the product, of the skill, that after getting, after watching these videos, after getting this whole core information, you will never be confused. And whenever the product updates or new technology comes, so you will be sure and your base and your foundation would be strong enough to grab the new technologies and then you can make your whole advanced career on this foundation that we create with our videos. So we were talking about the domain and work groups. Now to enroll your machine for Microsoft Intra ID or Microsoft Intune, you need to type access worker school. It's like the same you do in the Windows 10 environment. And here you're following the same steps, but there are different GUI and different combination, color and theme. So you need to understand that how things done in the Windows 11 environment. Now here you have to type access worker school and here it, it, it's going to navigate you here. And now here at a work or school account, you have to click connect because this is the thing that is going on right now. You have to understand and you have to know the skills that how you can set up your machine for Microsoft Enter ID, how to get done this registration, how to enroll your device. So this is the way. And then here you can type your Microsoft Enter ID here with the password and your machine will get enrolled. Your user account will be set up for this machine. And then later on on the Microsoft Intune, you will start getting the status of this device on the Intune portal which we have already covered in that Intune series, but we will just give you a little bit overview about the Intune in the later videos that we are planning. But for this video, we have covered the initialization and how you can change your domain or work group environment, but that's a legacy thing. And here we have covered how to enroll your device to the Entra ID, but right now we haven't enroll the device yet in the coming videos later on we will show you definitely how you can enroll your device to the intune portal to microsoft Entra id but in the next video we are going to talk about and we will show you how you can create local users and local user groups and how you can set the different privileges and rights to these users and groups